If there was a recipe for success, it might sound something like this. One part, sacrifice. Two parts, hard work. A heaping spoonful of talent and a pinch of luck. The sum of which might lead to an opportunity, a chance for success. It's then up to you to make the most of it. For young players, the World Polo League affords a unique opportunity to play against the best and test themselves at the highest level of polo in the Northern Hemisphere. For the young Argentines, Hero Del Carillo and Juan Martin Zubia, good fortune follows them for their first trip to the U.S. The Batman and Robin duo have earned a coveted spot on Colorado polo team. Across the bracket, the American Dynamo, Jesse Bray has found a home on the Canadian team, Alegria. Opportunities like this may come once in a blue moon, and the pressure is on. Perform well and reap the rewards. A poor showing and kiss your opportunity goodbye. So, is all the hype about these young guns for real? Born and bred far from the urban center of Buenos Aires, the boy started playing farm polo at the ripe age of six. After dominating the Argentine youth circuits, they stormed into the pro leagues and made a splash in the 2018 Argentine Triple Crown. And while playing well on home soil is one thing, they have now joined the elite ranks on an international level and are establishing themselves as the arrival of the next generation. When the world is your stage, you go put on a show. And thus far, Zubia and Del Carillo have lived up to the hype. And definitely, uh, they are the future of polo. Pablo's glowing endorsement aside, the magnitude of this opportunity is not lost on the duo. I think it's in a place where everything wants to be there because you want to be there because you're in the best of the best, the best organization, the best canchas. We have to no tanto pensar en por qué estamos acá, sino disfrutar el, el que estamos acá. And even with a few good performances under their belt, they know there is still room for improvement. You cannot give an advantage to the opponent. If the old guys are training, if they are all well mounted, if they are all going to bed early, sleeping well, eating well, I think you have to, to do the same thing. Otherwise, you, you are always one step behind. It is not just the two hours that we are playing in the field, but it's a, it's a way of life. La primera Copa que jugamos juntos teníamos, creo, de 13 y 14 años. Cada temporada siempre jugamos algún torneo juntos y ahora nada, se hizo casi costumbre jugar juntos. Pasamos mucho tiempo, ya sea tomando mate, entrenando, nos conocemos mucho, sabemos cuando uno está enojado, cuando uno está aburrido, cuando uno está... La verdad que está correcto ordenado y eso lo transmite dentro de la cancha. Their strengths kind of go hand in hand, you know, Jero is a, is a really good back and uh, hits a really good ball and Subi is a, you know, he's a bit of a fighter, a really good two, um, with a lot of ball control and uh, really good going forward. Por ahí jugando, bueno, eh, escucho un pegale, un back, un jugando, sé que él va a estar ahí y es como un alivio, ¿viste? Me saco la puta encima y claro, que la agarre él. Me encanta cuando se para atrás y, y no, no lo pasa nada. Tanto. Y, y no se manda tanto, no te entras a mandar. <risa> Juega muy bien de back y eh, no, 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 no lo pasa muy fácil. They are very young, talented. They just need to know how to get themselves organized with horses, with teams, and, and do their best for the future. Esta liga, la verdad que es recontra competitiva. Para todos está muy bueno. Para todos está muy bueno. That's an easy perspective to have when you're playing amongst the best. But you must remember, there is always someone behind you, in the shadows, waiting to take your next opportunity. You hear it frequently. Work, life, balance. For Jesse Bray, work and life start well before the crack of dawn. 6.37 on the shape of the barn. 
I have couldn't find practice for today, so it's game tomorrow, so I'm coming to the barn to ride singles before the day before the game. It's supposed to rain this afternoon. I'm trying to beat the rain as well. When I was well, I think sixth grade, I was playing a lot of soccer as well as polo. That's the year that my dad kind of told me, he's like, do you want to play polo or do you want to play soccer? And that's when I chose polo and I pretty much knew then that's what I would be doing the rest of my life. Santi Trotz told me when I was younger, I was never drank mate before. He said, if I don't drink mate, I'm not gonna make it past five goals. And once I got to five goals, I started drinking mate. He's here every morning and he takes his own sets and he rides singles. He's got so much passion for the sport, the horses, and it shows in his work. It really, it shows. You want to start on the other side and I'll start on this side for now? Perfect. Perfect. I come from a pretty successful local club, but this, this is a whole nother deal. It's on a whole nother level. It's the best, the best of the best playing in the country. It's the NFL of polo. It'll be okay. I love the horses. I love being here early. I love seeing them. I like riding them. I mean, everything. It's the love of the sport is, is why I play polo. Rather than going to the gym at twice a day, every day, like some of the other players do, I know. I ride my horses every day. That's more of my training. So this is an Australian Western saddle. Make sure I don't fall off. Today we have 17 between the two of us to ride. They all know what to do, they know how to stop, they know how to turn. I just want them to do it correctly. It's more just to remind them and to make them do it a couple times today, so tomorrow hopefully they, they can stop the turn. I think polo is all about opportunities. As a little kid, you're, you dream of playing this, this level polo. In the first game playing 26, I played against Adolfo the best player in the world, so that was was really cool. Um, it was tough, he beat us pretty good, but that's gonna happen, and you learn more losing than you do winning. I've been working on my string for a long time now. It felt really good to play against some of the best players in the world. If I can run with them, I can not quite stop with them yet, but I'm close. So, to, to be on the field with my string of horses that I've been buying myself and making myself is, is special to me. Opportunities can be evanescent, so take a breath and enjoy the moment. And for those with indelible spirit, success or failure matters not, only the ability to continue doing what you love.